Tell us a little bit more about your connection and relationship with Nelson Mandela. Well, um, uh, Nelson, uh, we have been friends for a very, very long time. Uh, when he uh, he was president of uh, Youth League, and uh, uh, he was also uh, my legal advisor uh, before, you know, he went underground. Uh, you know, they had a um, Mandela Tumble at an uh, firm, and they used to uh, represent me uh, in my on my on my other business activities. And and what is your fondest memory of him, Mr. Maponya? Come again. What is your fondest memory of Nelson Mandela? Uh, you know, uh, we have uh, suffered a great loss, a loss that uh, is irreparable. Um, you know, he has left uh, us with uh, a wonderful legacy uh, because he taught us that um, as a human beings, we must always uh, quarrel and forgive one another. I remember when uh, I visited him for just before he was to be about to be released. And uh, I spent a day with him there, together with uh, my late wife. And he, I asked him, uh, what is it that he would like us to do when he got released? And he said to me, Richard, I'm just angry that uh, the apartheid system, people... 27 years to see my point of view. It is only now that they are beginning to see a little bit of light. But coming back, I don't want that country to be destroyed because this country, the beauty that you see, it was also built by the blood and sweat of black people. Therefore, I would like to take it as a going concern for the benefit of all people who live in the country. No more. ENCA.com.